Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for True Force, and this is the New York Comic Con exclusive, the X Kai. And I'm quite fortunate and very thankful to True Force that they offered this to those who backed the Kickstarter, and for those who wasn't able to get to New York Comic Con. And that's really nice of them. And after all that spiel of them uh, releasing some of the figures in your comic on before the Kickstarter. Now, I don't really mind that, but it's really nice of them to offer this because, again, not not a lot, not all of us can go to New York Comic Con. I asked my friends to get it for me. Even them, they're having a hard time, and I think they made it a limit to only one per person. So that made it even harder. <laughs> Anyways, here's the box art. Quite great. And you have the Mega Man logo on top. And on this one, I believe uh, the regular version is looking toward his uh, right. This one is looking towards his left. Really nice uh, artwork. Then uh, you have the line art here on the side, similar to the other boxes. Yep. And on the bottom here, this is for ages 15 and up. It is a collector's figure. So keep in mind, this is not something that you can play around as an actual f action figure. Nope, it's one of those you post it and you kind of just leave it there. <laughs> yep, so uh, it's manufactured by Sentinel Toys. I really like that company and made in factory. Yep, and here's the True Force, the website and other stuff. What do you call that? Social media. There you go. <laughs> I was looking for that word. And uh, let's take a peek inside here. It's a box window held by a magnet. That's ah, really nice. So it's a uh, black and gold cor color with a little bit of gray in the middle. And it does have orange. I like orange. And it has the purple uh, effect part, the blast effect. Really nice. And also the face is a little different. Um, has that shadow. Yeah. On the side here, more specs. And I've, I just noticed this also. There is a decal on this one. The Kickstarter exclusive didn't come with that, so it's nice. This one has that. So um, I'm just gonna go here and you can pause the video and read up on it. There we go. Really nice. And on the back here, more poses. Yep. And uh, this figure comes with all of this stuff. Alright, and uh, let's take a look inside. Alright, we got the your Comic Con exclusive here. And. Alright, we got the X Kai here. And he looks amazing. Yep, quite great. I got to think of it. I think I recall there was kind of like a, another character, Mega Man. I think my name is ba Boss. Or base <laughs> or forte and uh, he has that uh, shadow on the eyes yep it's kind of like shadow compared to Sonic although I think Mega Man and Sonic are have the same <laughs> similarities anyways uh, let's go over the details that gold is amazing as well as that gloss black really really nice very shiny yep and uh, decals on this one is a lot easier to read, especially with the uh, black backing. Yep. And yeah, really nice. Articulation-wise, and I'm just going to go over it again to complete this uh, review. You can uh, look up, look down, side to side. And likewise, uh, to solve out the head. I don't know if I remove this yet, but I usually... Uh, hold towards his mouth then grab between the ears and just slide it out like so there we go uh, this face is a little different than the regular face um, here's the alternate face here might uh, swap this out let's try that put this on here there we go make sure that's all aligned and there's a comparison with the regular version right here. So it's red eyes. Yep, but uh, same molding. There we go. Put this helmet back on and just kind of align it. Actually, along with that, he has some kind of like a pinkish clear plastic. 
for the helm. It's quite nice. And now we have the shoulder armor here. It's on a hinge system. Move this around, bicep swivel, as well as you can able to move it forward. You got that nice hinge system there. Elbow bend, fairly good. Although not much going on here. And now you have a bolt joint and a wrist joint here. Yep. On to the torso, you're able to move this side to side. Again, it's not that crazy in terms of movement, but in terms of human possibilities, I think that's how much we can turn anyways. So uh, that's fairly good. Kind of worried that it might uh, smear the gold, but I don't think the gold is going to smear, but it's always a possibility. And also he can lean forward, quite great. And there is no gaps, or, or fairly little. So that's good, even moving up here. Really nice. Moving down, we have the waist here. And um, likewise, kind of like the Kickstarter exclusive, I didn't really have much problem turning this, although it is very stiff. Yeah, so yeah, the, the regular version I had is really uh, hard to move. So just be careful as you move this, kind of hold it near it towards the, where the pegs are. And this R die cast uh, has some weight to it. So being able to, well, besides that, <laughs> being able to do this is quite great. Although I don't think the knee has that same uh, stiffness though. On towards the knee. Oh, actually before that we get the bicep, or keep saying bicep, tie swivel. There we go. Tie swivel and you have that awesome knee bend here. Yep. I think it's the same for all of them. Oh, it is the same mold. But in terms of color, you got that uh, metallic gray. Gunmetal gray here inside. Then you have the gold that ships up. Quite nice. Yep. And uh, likewise, to open up this flap, uh, flaps where the thrusters are, I usually uh, move this piece here just enough to uh, have that clearance. Use your uh, fingernails to kind of pry this up because uh, you do have one on each side, that little gap there. And uh, there we go. Likewise on the other side, again, get that uh, clearance. Use your fingernails and just kind of open it up. There we go. Yep. And once you open it up, um, if you push it back, you have that clearance there. So there you go. You got the thrusters, really nice. Yep. And uh, this is really uh, well made. And if you've um, checked out on other figures, they usually have flushes, kind of like where come from the runners. This one, I you don't see that. It's probably a lot of undergated stuff. Underneath, got deco uh, details here. MK. Another jewel. Really cool. And likewise, we have the ankle joint here. Really hard to show, but um, there's a cup right there, which is a bowl joint, and it's connected to this giant bowl joint on the bottom. It's actually a hinge, but uh, you can turn it side to side, and this gives you quite a bit of uh, range of movement for that feet, which is uh, really great. Really nice. Um, anyways, um, I think that's uh, fairly covers uh, the articulation. Again, really nice. Accessory wise, uh, let's go over the hands. Uh, this one is uh, different. It's kind of like your charcoal color. Well, maybe like pewter black. Yeah. It's a really dark gray, 
<laughs> uh, it's different from your normal version, which is uh, this one, it's the white hands, which comes with the Kickstarter and the regular version. It's a little bit of different. And uh, I think I mentioned before I'm gonna use I'm I'm gonna have him to be left-handed, but I'm just gonna keep it the same. That way it'll be a lot easier when we do the comparison later on. There we go. First I'm putting it on. It's a little, always a little stiff. <laughs> and on top of that, we have the blaster right here. So kind of like your standard stuff, uh, when you open it up, there's an LED right there. And you get that spring mechanism, which... Uh, you know, turns it on. But uh, for this particular one, I have problems. Uh, when I put it on here, and I turn it on, it's the LED does not turn on. I have to kind of push it down or forget the to get that spring to activate. It's weird. But uh, I look inside. I swap it out with other ones. It looks the same, it just, for some weird reason, I guess the spring was just a little off. And likewise, we're gonna pop off this joint. There we go. Uh, put this on here. So this one. There we go, we heard that click, and that's good. The other one I have didn't have that click, so it was kinda loose. And there we go. Uh, turn on the blaster. I have to push it down. There we go. <laughs> and it works. Quite great. Yeah, really nice. There we go. Kind of wish it was a different LED, but. Then again, that could complicate things. <laughs> Alright, we got the clear stand here. It's your typical Sentinel base, but everything is in clear. You have two stands, one for the blast effect, one for him. And again, whenever you're playing with this or taking it out of the package, make sure you do a, what do you call this, counterclockwise quarter turn on all of them. All the screws here, just gonna loosen them up a bit. Yeah, you don't want to over tighten them. And also, there is a tab here that kind of locks it in place. So once you push it in, it, it stays there. So be careful. <laughs> you don't want to turn it while it's locked. You don't want to break that thing. But this just goes over his waist, kind of holds it in uh, place so he doesn't topple over. But the die cast on the feet does give him quite a bit of a support and he can stand without much problem. Now to the effect parts, actually I forgot something. <laughs> this one's. Uh, the thrusters on the back, uh, might as well showcase them. So uh, we're just gonna uh, pop this out. That gold is really nice. Yeah. Put that out and we're just gonna push this in here. There we go. Still debating if I should keep the this effect part on or just leave it the way it was before. But uh, either way, there we go. Gonna position in a bit and to the effect parts. So again, uh, this one comes with the purple version, which is right here. Really nice. And likewise, you can either mount um, either one of these. There is kind of like a slit on those four corners. Kind of goes along with this where the orange is. So uh, we can have this one here. This one is uh, quite heavy. So you might need some support. Uh, well, that's what the stand is for. But you can uh, use it on this effect. Or using this one. This one is not too bad in terms of weight. And I'll put that starting. Hello. 
which kind of makes uh, aligning it to that a little harder. I'm just finding that sweet spot. There we go. This one you probably don't need a stand. You can hold that quite easily. But uh, once you go crazy and uh, pop this out here and use that connector peg, it's an L shape. Uh, actually, this one goes here. Again, there you got the four corners again. And you're just gonna align it. Well, I'm just randomly twisting this, getting that over there. And mount this on, open this up, put this in the middle here, and along with the effect part. And there we go. Where is that spot? Right, and we've got that really nice purple effect part. Really cool. And I turn on the LED, which is not gonna work possibly. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it is on. Yeah, really not sure what happened there. I was using a different set of batteries. Uh, I think just the battery's not that bright anymore, but uh, it's not too bad. Well, for the most part, we're gonna be displaying this without the LED on, so and it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but it, it's a nice touch. To the, not a nice touch that they added that, and I think that fairly covers for the most part this review. And uh, let's check out all of them. Here we go, we got all three of them. It's just glorious. It's so amazing. <laughs> and again, I'm very fortunate and I'd like to thank True Force for giving an opportunity for all those who backed the project to get the New York, New York Comic Con exclusive. It's really nice of them. But yeah, all three of this, really great. And if I had to pick one, I will probably pick the New York Comic Con exclusive. It still has that orange, which I like. But they got that really nice gold as, uh, as well as the gloss black. Really cool. And there you have it. That's pretty much it for the review for all three of these. And I'm hoping that True Force will continue. Hopefully they make the bike. And who knows, they might make Zero. And who knows, they might make the Zero variant color of Mega Man. <laughs> who knows. But yeah, that's about it for the review. Hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, that's it. So until then, this is Beans. Thanks for watching.